Computer viruses, a problem that's been plaguing grandma's computer for decades now. It's not really something that's as big of a problem anymore, but back in the 90s and early 2000s, malware and other types of viruses were absolutely detrimental and pretty hard to deflect. Like one day you'd just be chilling looking at your emails to see a message from Pikachu, you open it to a cute message from your favorite video game character and it just really makes your day. Then you restart your computer and realize it's completely erased beyond repair. I'm not joking, this was a real email worm that existed and that's crazy to me. Over the past few decades of various malware, trojans, spyware, and other viruses releasing, we have been blessed with some weird ass stuff. Things like Bonzi Buddy, who was a silly purple gorilla that would dance and sing around your desktop and then also steal your personal information. I swear, one day I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. There's also Ransomware, which was a ransomware program that takes your computer hostage until you you beat a game of Toho on the hardest difficulty. I know it was created with the intention to entertain, but god, it would be so funny if my grandpa got this on his laptop and then he had to train bullet hells to get his tax documents back. There's been so many strange and cool viruses over the years, and I want to talk about a couple that really got my attention. I actually looked at some viruses a few years ago, and since the Halloween season is here, what's better than to take a look at some creepy, odd, and downright hilarious viruses that can absolutely demolish your computer. Now before we start our journey into viruses, let me just give you a little itty bitty warning. Do not replicate anything that I attempt here today. Viruses are bad and downloading them will permanently harm your computer. I am a trained idiot and I am using virtual machines, not real computers. I will not be linking any of the viruses so that you do not be dumb. Do not be dumb, and if you are dumb, I am not responsible. With that out of the way, have you ever had your computer taken over by numbers before? Starting us off is 000.exe, a creepypasta virus created by Flytech Videos. Oh yeah, all the viruses I'm talking about today were created solely for fun, never to cause real harm. I mean, they all pretty much rapture your PC, but it's for the sillies, you know? Anyways, this is pretty straightforward malware. After you get a dark red warning message saying not to run this program, you run this program and the fun begins. You're then unable to access your computer as a video of this weird road begins to play, as the computer prepares itself for destruction in the background. You can't close the video or tab out or anything, you're pretty much just forced to watch this eerie video play out until your computer restarts. Unfortunately, that video was the least of your problems, as when the computer boots up again, all of the usernames are replaced with your next. After trying a bunch of random passwords, I realized the password never actually changed from the one I put. I entered my computer once more and yeah, it's over. All of the icons on your desktop are replaced with the words your next over and over. Like, I get it, you're in a rush to destroy my computer, but don't be lazy about it, spell the whole word out. Opening any of them just shows you a text file repeating your next over and over. However, opening the one different document on the desktop says that they got you and that you have been warned? <laughs> I'm sorry, this was just the warning? Error messages then begin to spam on your computer, telling you to run away. At this point, there's really nothing you can do. The computer's mostly unusable after this. The messages keep opening up and your computer is just fancy decoration at this point. Whew, dealing with that virus really made me tired. I wish I had some energy. That's why I'm glad I have my gamer subs, baby! You heard that right. I am now officially partnered with Gamer Subs, the delicious drink formula that brings you both great energy and a tasty experience. I mean, how else are you gonna explain to mom and dad why the family computer has a bunch of viruses on it? Gotta have the energy to keep that argument going. Gamer Subs is different from other energy drinks. There's zero sugar, organic caffeine, and no fillers to provide a better nutritional value. Not to mention, they've got some banger flavors. My personal favorite is blue. Yeah, you heard me right. It's just blue. It's blue flavored. But don't just take my word for it. You can go and try Gamersups yourself for completely free. For the next 24 hours only, you can use the link gamersups.gg slash toadbup to get free samples to try out. By using the code toadbup, you'll get free shipping so you won't have to pay a single penny. I know I need those pennies to repair my computer. Even if you're watching this past the first 24 hours, you could still use code toadbup at checkout for 10% off of any order. That includes the formulas, the wacky anime cups, everything that's for sale. So go to gamersubs.gg slash toadbup and try gamersubs today. Please buy as much as you can. The more that I sell, the less mad that my parents get at me for breaking the family computer. Please, I'm begging you.
Next on the virus list, we've got Windows XP Horror Edition, created by Wabichip. Now, I've actually seen this one in the past, so it's going to be interesting revisiting it. This virus is unique because it has both a destructive and a peaceful version. Now, to save myself 15 minutes of creating a new virtual machine, I just opted for the safe version. There's no real differences between the two, just that the destructive version does destroy your computer and replaces your computer with this image after the virus does its job. Now, since this was made for Windows XP, I booted it up on Windows 7. It begins to fake an update for the computer, and it stops at 66%? Nice try, Virus. You're missing at least one more six for that to be scary. Oh, fuck. The downloader now switches to a scary downloader with a red tint and an eyeball telling you not to look behind you. A quick flashing lights warning as after the update finally finishes, a loud static noise plays and some glitches pop up. I forgot to record audio for this one, so just uh, trust me, bro. You're now presented with a new Windows boot up screen, but this time it's covered in blood and has the skull from Evil Dead 2. Honestly, I think I like this one better than the original. Once your PC finally boots up, you can go to your desktop where uh, things Things are just a little different. The wallpaper's been replaced by these glitching skulls, random scary images will flash on the screen every now and then, and a random jump scare can play. I do have three questions though. One, why is the FNAF jump scare sound playing? Two, why is there a Night Blight jump scare? And three, who the hell is this, Sackboy? Trying to click in the bottom left of the screen just presents you with this weird animation of a door opening. This silly little guy then pops out of the door and he tells you to get a good night's rest. What a sweetheart. There are four icons on your screen. First is the recycle bin, which does nothing. Next is a video file titled Nothing, which plays a creepy animation of this strange masked creature befriending a girl. Now, I've done some research and identified this video as The Sad Man by Jake Lava. Go give it a watch, it's quite silly. The next icon on your desktop is Don't Open Me. Text. Of course, I can never follow basic instructions, so I opened it. A bloody text box tells you congratulations for opening it. Your reward, of course, is a jump scare, courtesy of this gift from the horror game Grand that flies at the screen. Lastly is the icon My Computer, which if you select it, the virus will begin its last phase. It asks you if you want to trash your computer, and any sane person would say no, of course. However, they plan for this because then they remove the no option and it only says yes, but I'm a bit of a sneaky guy. So in response, I hit the X button. The virus then viewed this as cheating and threw my computer in the recycle bin anyways. There's one last jump scare after this from Phantom Bloom. Boy, what the hell is this virus? A red screen of death then pops up, and if you have the destructive version of this virus, booting up your computer again only leads to this screen. Now this virus had a bit more to it, whether that's a good or a bad thing, who knows. All I know is that this is a program that wipes your computer completely with a Balloon Boy jump scare, and I think that's hilarious. Next up on the list, we've got a Spongebob themed virus called Horror Bob, created by Pancoza. This one actually threw me off because I accidentally ran a different Spongebob virus called Spongebob No Sleep that this person also made. The one I accidentally ran just made a creepy Spongebob pop up on my desktop and factory reset my PC. I do love that they made multiple Spongebob viruses though, that's great. Anyways, after running Horror Bob, a quick warning before you run it shows up and running the virus just immediately shuts down your PC. Wait a second, what was that? It's as I thought, it's Spongebob. When the computer boots up again, there's a background change to a scary Spongebob with no eyes. Blood particles and drips begin to appear on your screen, and another scary Spongebob appears, but this time in a separate window, and he has a, uh, blood meter? Turns out that this is taken from another scary virus called Mrs. Major, but I just like to think it's a reference to that one Spongebob episode where Spongebob drinks diet blood. Anyways, the blood meter starts to drain, and it lags the ever-loving hell out of my computer. I tried to refill the blood meter in many different ways to no avail. Once the meter finally runs out, your computer crashes and it's rendered unusable. The only thing that's left is this red error screen. Definitely a stranger virus. I know it's technically just a copy of a pre-existing virus, but with a Spongebob theme slapped on it, but I appreciate the wacky idea behind this virus's creation. Also, like I mentioned earlier, there's like six different versions of this, and that's just neat to me. This next virus is a bit similar to 000, but different enough to talk about. Created by Enderman on YouTube, this virus is called No Escape, which is another Windows 10 virus. When you boot this one up, it'll immediately restart your PC. Similar to 000, once you boot it up again, it replaces all of your users, but this time it's with gibberish and the entire computer has been changed to red. To figure out the password to get back into your account, you have to, uh, honestly, I don't know, I just looked it up. Your desktop is filled with even more gibberish and there's just kind of junk everywhere. 
everywhere. Opening any of the files on your desktop just claims that your computer is now theirs and you can't get rid of the malware. Now originally, I thought this was the extent of the virus, but it turns out that there's some different payloads that I missed. Changing the data of your computer, various effects can happen. Your files can bounce all over your screen, which is pretty cool. The desktop would also just like slowly distort into darkness, and then eventually your computer just gives up and erases itself. A pretty cool virus that I originally thought was just another, ooh, your computer is infected, but it actually had a lot more to it. However, this last virus is really where it gets crazy. It tops every single last virus we've talked about, and its name is Pac-Man Smoking Crack .exe. This last virus was made by, I believe, the YouTube channel VAVR, which is a channel that mostly does song mashups, similar to Siva Gunner. Why they made a Pac-Man smoking virus is beyond me, but I'm so glad they did it. I should clarify that this one doesn't do any real damage to your computer, but it does mess with your computer and shut it off, so I'm counting it. This virus is based on the legendary video of this 3D Pac-Man model offering drugs to these two gentlemen here. I think the best way to describe this virus is if I just play it for you and let you watch it yourself. Trust me, you you will not be disappointed. So for some reason, YouTube didn't like when I tried to show the audio to this virus. So instead, just enjoy this piece of music. Sorry about that. After Windows decides to light up with Pac-Man, your PC just freaks the f*** out, spamming error messages and eventually shutting down with this very professionally made Windows 9.1 screen. This was definitely the silliest virus out of the bunch, and honestly, it's such a marvel in modern technology. Like, you think the creators of the I love you email worm that cost almost 8 billion dollars in damage would have seen this coming? I can guarantee the answer is yes. And those were some of the strange computer viruses that I was able to find. Now, there are so so, so many other ones I could have talked about. There's the infamous memes virus, sulfoxide, which turns your PC into this crazy landscape of colors and sounds. The world of viruses is quite vast. Getting some of these viruses to work though was honestly a pain in the ass sometimes. The one I just mentioned, sulfoxide, I tried to get running properly on a virtual machine for over an hour to no avail. This was the best result I ended up getting. I do suppose that it's a good thing that these viruses intended to destroy your computer are very difficult to run. Viruses are such an interesting art form and a venue for entertainment. It scratches that part of your brain that just goes, man, what if I just absolutely brutalized my computer on purpose? These viruses, which were definitely intended to run in virtual machines and just watch go wild, are so damn cool, and I definitely want to revisit more in the future. I do hope, though, that we get a sequel to the Pac-Man smoking crack virus. I think I'm the first human being to ever utter that sentence in the history of the universe.